Today's Red Dane top tip is about avoiding tick-borne diseases uh, during the summer. Uh, obviously the challenge really goes up and especially with dairy animals when you are taking them out to grazing and they're not used to being out in the grazing so they haven't really been exposed to any ticks or, or flies during uh, the winter. So in summer you send them out grazing in the tall grass and the, the chances of getting tick-borne diseases are much higher. So here's a few tips that uh, we've got on how to reduce the risks. So some of the other things to think of before you send the cows out to grazing is dip them, obviously. Uh, probably a pour on dip would be a really good thing to do. Um, and uh, yeah, so you pour on, I'm sure you know how to apply the pour on over, over the back as normal and maybe a little bit extra over the top of, top of the head and onto the ears and, and around the back. Some other things we do is if the tick pressure is really high, once we've trimmed the ears, we'll actually smudge tick grease in the ears and under the tail. Just giving them the best possible chance to, to be tick free in those first weeks when, when they're getting onto the pastures. Um, another option as well is to either make them, if it's your dry cows uh, or your heifers, really good idea to give them a, a shot of ivermectin and that will give you some cover while they could have getting used to uh, being out in the grazing and getting some tick challenge. So we, we'd recommend that as well. So, something else to watch for other than the ticks, if you look at these cows you'll see that their hair is sort of standing up, they don't look nice and shiny, they look a bit matte and all the hair is standing up and while I've been standing here I'm getting bitten by flies. So flies are also these are real fly nuisance to cows during this time of the year and again you need to look at the different types of dip that are available. Some are very effective against flies, some of the synthetic pyrethroids work well uh, but they tend, flies tend to build up immunity pretty quickly so you have to change them. Um, but the other thing is to set out fly traps as much as you can in the area where the cows are to try and draw the flies away because uh, they can be a real nuisance and spread quite a few of the tick-borne diseases. Another idea that uh, we've used is uh, in extreme cases, if you're starting to have animals go down with tick-borne diseases, uh, would be to block them. It's something you need to get advice from your uh, vet, depending on the types of diseases that you're experiencing. Uh, we, we block with either tetracycline or with burinil or tricep as it's called now, the little sachets, and that'll, that'll protect you for three months against red water and I uh, highly recommend it. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's a very cheap way of ensuring that you don't have the red water uh, variety of tick-borne disease um, and then you, you know that you don't have to treat for that if you do get sick cows.